everybody. Praise the Lord. This is Charles Barnett of Apostolic Gatherings Network. And the Lord gave me a message today and I want to share it with you. Actually, he gave me a couple of messages today, but there's one of them that I believe can that will be a blessing to you. It was a blessing to us. And that is right now in this time frame of the kingdom of God, um, there is a, a transition happening. There's a spiritual transition. And the Lord showed it to me like with Moses. Moses was a great man of God. He was a powerful prophet. He was the messianic prophet. And he did some great things for God and the people of Israel. But when he got older and he was at the end of his life, he had mentored Joshua. Because Joshua was the next leader in line, the next prophetic voice. And um, so Joshua was chosen by God to enter the promised land and to take Israel to the next level of warfare. And they were going to conquer the promised land, which was flowing with milk and honey, which was going to be what they were going to own. Whatever they set their, put their foot on, it was going to be theirs. But with some of the decisions that Moses had made disqualified him from going into the promised land. But since he was a great man of God, the Lord let him at least see it before he died. And the Lord told me that there are a lot of people that he has set aside for this appointed time, prophetic messengers, ministers, and the previous generation, they're at the end of their life and they ministered for God in their capacity and but they're not going to be able to go with Joshua. Moses wasn't able to go with Joshua, but he could see where Joshua was going. And that's what the Lord told me is that they're going to be able to see where you're going. God will let them see it so that they can understand it's from God, but they can't go. And for some of us and some of you, even though you love them very much and you want to be with them forever and, you know, and... Another reason why they can't go with you is because you won't you won't lead like you're supposed to. You won't obey the voice of the Lord like you're supposed to because you're so used to listening to them. But it's not their time anymore. It's your time now. And they can't go with you. They can't go where God is going to take you because their time is done. That's the way it is. That's the way the transition from one kingdom ministry to the next so the Lord wants you to know he wants us all to know that for some of us maybe you it might be you God is calling you into your promised land your appointed time where your ministry it's going to be time for you to get out and preach and prophesy and lead and minister and those who you were joined to before they're not allowed to come. God says they can't go. They can't go with you because this is your walk now. This is your realm now, not theirs. And uh, God said he's going to be kind and let them see it. But um, that's it. So it's going to be a tough transition. But that's what is in the plan of God. That's what God is doing right now. Is that there is going to be a transition from the old and elderly into the now and the younger. And it's going to continue to do it. And God is simply bringing out a fresh new anointing upon new prophetic movements. And it's going to be a great apostolic movement like we have never seen before. Just like they saw a lot of awesome things under Moses. But when Joshua came up, Joshua's was the conquering of 
the promised land. And so for some of us, we are going to be new warriors in spiritual realms, the spiritual battle for souls, for people, spiritual warfare. And so God is imparting and he's in the middle of a transition where it's your time now and you're going to have to step out by faith and obey God, obey his written word and obey his spoken word, obey his voice. Like the Apostle Paul told Timothy, remember the prophecies that I prophesied over you for those are your marching orders. That is your ministry. That is what you use to wage a good war. And so this is what is going to happen now. It's happening already. So, and uh, this word came forth in the prayer meeting that I'm leaving right now. I just left the, the uh, Apostolic Gatherings Network prayer meeting. And uh, there was some good prophecy. There was some good opening up of the windows of heaven. And it was amazing. So, Moses, your time is over. Joshua, it's time for you to step up. Your appointed time is now. Woo! So, that was the word of the Lord today. And this is what's happening in the kingdom of God now. So, if this is your shoe to put on, put it on and start walking. If this touches you, then it's for you. So, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive this prophetic message, receive this word from the Lord, and let it change your life and move into the course in which is led and flowed with the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. God bless you. This is Charles Barnett at Apostolic Galleries Network. You be blessed and have a happy Thanksgiving in Jesus' name.